Hey guys, Dr. Daphne Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about the device, or in fact we're talking about LLLED devices, which is low level laser emitting devices, or as it's commonly known, LEDs, which is light emitting diodes. So in the past, I guess 20 years, um, more specialists, more dermatologists, and I guess aestheticians are using LEDs because they can be incorporated into your practice um, and be actually use, useful. Yep. So in this situation, I'm using the orange light, somewhere in the 830 nanometer uh, spectrum. I'm uh, using that for about 13 to 14 minutes. The reason being is that this lady here has had a resurfacing uh, procedure done a week ago, and um, it can actually help with uh, wound healing. I know the studies are not robust, but uh, subjectively patients feel, I guess, calmer, more soothing, uh, and it can decrease pain as well. Uh, most of the studies are actually done in Korea, so um, the light emitting devices were originally from Korea, however, now basically it's, it's well known to be used worldwide. So the first thing is wound healing. Uh, the second, I guess, procedure which I do most when it comes to uh, light emitting diodes is basically activation of porphyrins and the activation of porphyrins are basically chemicals which can be secreted by bacteria such as p acnes or synthetic chemicals that we put on the skin and then over time the cells for example uh, skin cancer cells or precancerous cells take in that uh, immunolevinic acid or ala or 5 ala and then we use um, a spectrum of light uh, basically it's either in the us you have something called luvan yeah and in the US they're using 420 odd nanometers which is basically blue light to activate the chemicals and that can actually kill the precancerous cells so that's using Luvan or Luvan stick. In Australia we use uh, something called Metfix which is uh, aminolevinic acid and the spectrum most often that dermatologists incorporate is the 63 nanometer, so 633, the red light. Now red goes deeper than blue right so basically when you have the red light it hurts a little bit more than blue but it offers better penetration especially into the pilosebaceous units which is basically a hair follicle now we talked about porphyrins and how it's activated by light uh, porphyrins are actually secreted naturally by bacteria so the most important bacteria is basically p acnes yeah so that's a bacteria implicated in acne so if you if you look at the studies and even i guess uh end of data reports Acne improves while they're on holidays. Acne improves uh, with salt water and sun. The reason being is not because you're de-stressed, but because the light from um, sunlight, yeah, normal UV light, also contains, um, uh, so with the visible spectrum, it contains both blue light, yeah, orange light, but most importantly blue and red. And what happens is that that sunlight actually kills the bacteria because bacteria promotes or produces amino acid. acid. So, in, I guess, a clinical environment, we can use um, blue and red light to kill acne. Once again, it's not a, for example, it does really, really good for things like cystic acne or, or papular pustular acne, but when it comes to treating, let's say, blackhead acne or, or whiteheads, now chemical peels work better, yeah? So using light technology, it's best if there's, uh, it's juicy, yeah? <laughs> if there's lots of zits, because we know that it's a lot of bacteria and with that, there's a lot of chemicals. So we're actually taking advantage of the um, of nature itself, yeah, and using very simple light treatment to actually kill the bacteria. Other ways we can do it is to use um, IPL or BBL, and we use a blue filter, and um, that delivers a hell of a lot more light compared to this in a short period of time. So uh, for acne, the biggest studies so far have shown that uh, using blue and using red light in combination often works best than using one spectrum alone. I guess go through that kind of makes sense, yeah because the blue treats the uh, superficial, but blue also has a very high absorption spectrum with blue compared to the red. And the red goes deeper, like I said, into your pilosebaceous units, the hair follicles, or oil glands. So that's how I incorporate um, LEDs into my practice. Um, there's many other applications, um, including soft tissue injury, but in this situation, I'm using it for uh, wound healing. So things like ulcers, post-surgical wounds, um, and you know, we're looking at, I guess, extension of use in the medical field. Uh, we have a lot of um, uh, soft tissue injury, for example, sprains and, and post-op, which can actually improve with the um, 830 nanometer type uh, range. Uh, yeah, when it comes to devices, um, I like Lutronic. Um, I'm sure you guys know I'm 
he might be a fan of a, a lot of their devices because um, they're not only innovative, uh, like for example with the Infini, but now with the Genius, but with systems like this, they just don't break down. Um, <laughs> the old system I used was uh, Galderna system, and that broke down basically every year. For this, you've got a whole array, a whole bank of lights. Uh, we can program it for both jewels together with uh, the minutes treated. Uh, and with a 63 nanometer uh, spectrum, which is the red light spectrum, we use this to actually medically treat uh, skin cancer. Um, and hence, this I guess a free plug to Lutronic Le for uh, making such a good device. Um, and in my other practice, we've had Lutronic for the last probably four years, not one breakdown uh, well before. Basically, we're changing the um, LEDs <laughs> virtually annually. So, um, free plug to them, shameless plug, because they make pretty good devices. Guys, I hope you like the video. It's a little bit, um, I guess, more of a vlog than anything else. Um, and just remember, when it comes to devices, we should actually have, a bit, I guess, you know, real accurate science behind it uh, in order to actually help patients, but also be very transparent in regards to treatments. Thanks guys, I'll see you same place, same time next week. Bye.